Being recorders, I told you niggas the mortars. Blitz. Corum. You never want to move the. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got. I don't know if I can watch the whole 41 minutes of this shit. But I gotta watch this shit. The top 10 worst places on Long Island. Uh, on Long Island. Anyway, so before we get into it, man, it's early. Mm-hmm. Yo, this shit going this is what Jerry gonna look like if he gain weight when he get older. Before we get into it, man, y'all know what it is, man. <laughs> so I ain't even roll. I ain't even, I still got one from last night. So if y'all think I synced up before y'all, nah, this is one from last night. I was gonna roll a whole nother one, but I hate people who just roll up the blunt just for the blogs and like don't barely on the smoking. Nah. Yo, bro, what are you talking about? Just, just get to it. So like you chatting? Smoking, man. I'm smoking on that Kush. Oh God, I'm this nigga is chatting, indica. bro. What are you I'm chatting about? On sativa. Yeah, you smoking on it. Talk to you. Just, you just said you wasn't gonna smoke in the video, and you're smoking in the video. What is this man doing? This man is weird, bro. By Mike Tyson's punch out. Anyway, number ten on. The list. Quorum. Quorum. It's not. You never want. It's not quorum. It's quorum. That's like that's that's why I don't think he really from. He's not really from New York. Like he he probably lived in New York for like well maybe not New York, but he's not from Long Island. He's from the city or some shit. He lived in the city, and and and, and he maybe he moved out here when he was like thirty five or some weird shit like that. Cause cause he you don't niggas from Long Island don't say quorum. They say quorum. Just I'm from quorum. Like, where you from? Quorum. Like, oh, you from Quorum? Like, we don't pronounce the A-M. It's like, cor- um, not Quorum. Quorum. Move the... But Quorum, quorum is that da- bad, though. The thing, about, the, thing, the thing about Quorum is, like, there's a lot of drugs out in Quorum, and it's really mixed and diverse. There's a lot of MS out there, a lot of Spanish people out there. There's a lot of Crips and Bloods out there. And the thing is, a lot of the like the people from the city, like the the big the big the big the big shots in the city, like the niggas that scam, niggas that trap, like the big bros and shit, like they pick up out the out the peas in the city and they move to Quorum because it's like it's mad, it's deep, so your ops not gonna find you. There's a lot of nice houses in Quorum, and it's like it's hard to get to. You feel me? It's like kind of in the middle of nowhere, but not really. So that's why corn's bad because a lot of people Long from the city oh move to corn. Corn looks absolutely filthy. I don't know what they doing in corn. And the crazy part is in corn, that's where the social service is at. I tell people all the time the apartments right behind social service in corn. Them shits is filthy. You know what you find in corn? You can still go to corn and find crackheads. That's all right. Not too many gangbangers out there, but you talking about Lying. raggedy people, the roads is raggedy, bro. What the houses is ran down? What? This is what yeah, he's not really from he's never really been to Quorum before because Yeah, Quorum has a lot of crack like Quorum like Quorum mastic size full of crackheads and fiends and custies and drug dealers and shit like that. But there's a whole nice side of Quorum where rich people say. Like all of Quorum's not bad. It's a part of quorum that's the straight $2, rich people. dollars a month, even though that's not even a lot in New York. But that's how much the housing quorum going for. $2,000 a My month to live in quorum. quorum. And this house is about to fall. The house is doing the lean on me. When you're not strong. I'm not going to finish the song. Fuck y'all. Quorum. Don't move the co- Listen. The only people living in Corum right now is the people who's on Section 8, and that's the only spot that's available. That's not true at all. If you got your girl on Section this 8, video she come get out. that list back, and she be like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> the only thing that's left is in Corum. And you be like, fuck. Stick it, Seth. Ah. Either homeless, live in Corum. Homeless, live in Corum. Sometimes you'll probably choose to sleep out your car. Anyway, Corum not even the worst part. That, that, that's number 10. That's Corum. Number 9. Mastic, aka Mastic Shirley. I see that. I told you that's next to my Mastic is bad. Full of custies. Nothing but nothing but custies yeah, and Mastic. 
like nothing but but like every time like while I was working at Jake's, I was working at the casino. Everyone from Mastic had a fucking face tattoo, or they was coming in like scratching Mastic, in the morning, like Mastic, we, like I kid you not, on my mother. Every fucking morning, bro. Every morning, a white girl will come in with the same pajamas. Every every morning, she'll come in with the same pajamas, scratching and shit. Eight o'clock sharp, no ID, no nothing, bro. I can say it now because I don't work there no more. But if I was still working there, I'd probably get fired. But she be like, "Yo, can I, can I get some coffee?" Because you know, like Tussie's like, they need like a rush. They need a caffeine rush to kind of like, like substitute for the rush they get from like coke or like heroin and shit like that. She, bro, she will walk in because like, we got free coffee. We got free coffee makers in the casino. She'll walk in with two fucking McDonald cup, like two Mc, McDonald cup holders full of coffee. She's like, "Thank you." She'll just walk out. Three hours later, bro, she got that eight, eleven. She back four more cups. Ah, every day. Ah, 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 every day. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Like she's like, hey. she knew my name. She started to know my name because I was just let her in get coffee. She's like, Brian, can I please get some coffee? I'm like, you got your ID? She's like, ah. <laughs> she be like, ah. you know, like, bro, if I got back up. You know the the custom stance. They always like this. You know. She like. Brian, can I just get some coffee, please? I don't even want to gamble. I don't have no money. Like, every every day, bro. Every day she did the same thing. Mastic has, is full of... If you live in Mastic or Shirley, you either a drug dealer or you do the drugs. There's, there's no in-between, bro. You live in Mastic or Shirley, you a drug dealer or you do the drugs. And if you don't do the drugs or sell the drugs, you live in Shirley or Mastic, your fucking parents do sell the drugs and they bought you a house in Shirley, so you good. That's that's the only way you living out there. So you got Mastic Shirley. Cause they kind of connect. But both of those is raggedy. If you live in Mastic, you anywhere down Montauk Highway and all that. And then you get the William Floyd. And then you make the left towards Ridge. Before you get the Ridge, that's raggedy. You make the right going towards Mastic Beach. No, nah, don't go to Mastic Beach. That's, that, that's raggedy. No, nah, don't go to oh, Mastic oh, Beach. Raggedy. Don't go to Mastic Beach. Man, it's a bad mosquitoes one. Mosquitoes over there in the oh, summertime. Uh, you can't get out your car. You fight a million mosquitoes. He's not even really talking about the mosquitoes. He's talking about the fiends, bro. The fiends is worse than mosquitoes. The niggas, the niggas will swarm you. <laughs> if you live on a reservation, raggedy. You go to the reservation, get you some cheap cigarettes and all that. You be like, damn. When is they gonna build the road in here? A casino or something? Raggedy. But Mastic, Shirley. It's they got the beach shot. Now listen, the fine crackheads. It's blood domestic, not Mastic Shirley. This is the black part of Mastic. It's a lot of bloods inside of uh Mastic. So it's like Facts. it's already raggedy. Bro, he's chatting, bro. He's just chatting. Like, just get to it. Like this video could have been ten minutes, bro. Just like the houses out there and run the houses ran down. Yo, to the s- ground. say say now, say the houses is raggedy and run run down one more time. I'm gonna run down on you, bro. Sheesh, sheesh is right, nigga. I'm gonna run. Sheesh, you're talking too fucking much. Mastic, Shut the fuck up and get to it. Come on, Smiley. Houses and all that. Nigga's not even tying his. Du- nigga, is that even a do rag or did he he ties some spandex around his head? Cause it's more going out east. Cause like look 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 look. look, look. You got a do rag like you got the you got the do rag flap. You I don't know how to be able to see because it's black, but look, you got the do-rag flap. Yo, this is really a do-rag. You feel me? This shit don't got no... He just got a fucking a, a shit top behind the back. Like, come on, son. I know. Kid. I can tell it's by the like way... The I shot. can tell by the way... The, like, the way the do-rag is sitting, bro. The way the do-rag is sitting on his head, his shit is done. His shit is... His shit back here somewhere. His shit looking at... um His shit... um. Picking the YouTube videos while he do the YouTube videos, like this shit watching TV while he watching us, like type shit. But nigga said he got shorts. He got, got short sleeve on his like head. I'm telling you. Still got prostitutes. That's like that's disgusting. F- facts. All the bitches from Master Shirley that used to pull up to Jake's used to come in with the drug dealers. Three, four of them up to the telly, come right back down, boom, out, high as a bitch. Like this, every 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 custody from Mastic do this do this right here. 
They grab, they grab their little, little tricep. They look at you like this. They slap. Like, what you do? Like, you got some shit for us? Like, nah, I wish shit. Like, who's still prostituting outside of uh, uh, Vegas in 2020? That's just disgusting. Um, still got crackheads. The houses is ran down. Master got some gang bangers. I right, see. He's talking anyway, about too much shit, bro. Never had. Yeah, I got a beach. We gonna go a little bit further east. We're number eight on the list. Riverhead. Oh lord. Riverhead is bad, but Riverhead is just as. I mean, I feel like the la the, the first three, like ten, nine, and eight, they can all be like interchanged because it's all the same thing. It's literally like a bunch of hood people move from the city and then move out there because it's cheap. And it's hard to get to, like, for real. Like, say someone, like, say someone gets, like, a big homie boom someone on the block in, like, Brooklyn or some stuff, stuff like that. Now it's hot for him. All right, boom, I'm going to move to Riverhead. Nigga, I used to live in, 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 in Amityville. Riverhead, for me, like, on a good day, you get to Splish Splash on a good day, like, 45 minutes, an hour. From Brooklyn with traffic, that's, that could be two or two and a half hour drive, like. Niggas not doing that. Niggas not driving. Too, niggas not making a road trip, having sleeping bags in the back and making red stop to go boom someone. Like, nah, they out the way. So, like, that's what a lot of people do. And it's the same thing. It's just a lot of drugs and stuff out there. Because it's not much to do, like, and the prison out there, too. So, the prison right there. There's a prison. Riverhead. I think the biggest prison on Long Island is Riverhead. I don't know. I think Every it's, time I hear I Riverhead, a, I get I think the it's federal. Because the only reason why people go to Riverhead is to go to the jail. That's literally the only reason why. Like me, only time before I actually uh uh my baby mother sister her baby father live out there. I know that sounds a little crazy. But... Hold on. Hold on, where's my shit at? My shit at. Hold on. Oh, I, my camera just fucked up. Hold on. Wait, wait, come back on. Hello? Oh shit, I got to fix it. I got to turn this on. Hey. Did he just say his, his, hold on. He didn't just say what I think. Did he just say his baby mother's baby father? Is me? that what he just said to me? Only time before I actually, uh, uh, my baby mother's sister, her baby father lived out there. I know that's my baby mother's sister's baby father lives out there. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Get a load of this guy. Sounds a little crazy, but sounded simple to me at least. Um, he lived out there, so. It wasn't until I met him. The only time I went to Riverhead was to go to jail, to go see somebody at the jail. Or oh, that's where they got the, uh, that's where when you get a felony, that's where you got to go to the courts at out there. Mm -hmm. So if you face the felony charges and there's some, you know, something rather major, you don't go to Central Islip Court. You go to uh, Riverhead Court. So you kind of always want to be in Central Islip Court rather than Riverhead Court. I ain't gonna lie, but anyway. That's what I really don't. I, I mean, I never had a felony. I never been to court in New York, but like, I think, I think Nassau, you go to Mineola, right? And like, that's like all like in Nassau, that's like in the middle type shit. But say you live in Amityville, bro, you gotta go to fucking court in Riverhead, bro. That is fucking crazy. Cause Amityville is the first town in Suffolk. Riverhead is like. Damn near one of the last, like probably like the last ten exits or the last like fifteen exits. Bro, that's a fucking trip to go to court. I would Wait, hate to drive forty five to, to an the hour to go to court. And I'm like, what? The neighborhood is right down the block from the courts and all that. That's a fact. The neighborhood raggedy as fuck. They got them little mini uh projects right over there and all that too. The little four story projects, no elevator. You gotta walk up the stairs with everything. Riverhead is super raggedy, but when you come live like that come to his faces man listen man listen yeah that shit can happen it's right down the block motherfucker number seven is a combo they so close together mm -hmm. be sure okay i get it you they both raggedy as fuck be sure brentwood y'all gonna fact. be combined as number one I'm not going to lie to you, though. Bayshore and Brentwood not worse than fucking Quorum. Bayshore. 
Nah, nah, Bayshore, Bayshore, Bayshore can be old deep. Trust me, Bayshore can be old deep. And because he's combining Bayshore and Brentwood, and they like right here, like Bayshore and Brentwood people are the same. Like, like Bayshore, Bayshore. A lot of Bayshore people are just like what I said about Queens. A lot of people from Bayshore jack they from fucking Brentwood, but they really from Bayshore. You feel me? Like not a lot of people jack like, oh, I'm from Bayshore. Like a lot of people from Bayshore be like, oh, I'm from Brentwood. Everyone I know from everyone that I know that's from Brentwood, <laughs> they live in Bayshore. I'm like, bro, you're from Bayshore. He's like, nah, bro, I'm from I'm from Brentwood. I'm like, I'm like, alright, whatever. So it's just like, I don't know, Bayshore and Brentwood is bad though. It's just because Brentwood, the past couple of years with the MS13 and stuff like that, with 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 the girl that was killed behind the library and all that stuff, that is is it's a little crazy out there. And like, a, especially this, like this year, like a lot of Bayshore, Bayshore, because the thing about Bayshore is like, the reason why this is so bad is because it's like Wine Dance, Babylon, right? And then Bayshore, and then like Brentwood's like over here somewhere. So this is a big ass circle of just a bunch of hood niggas, like, because Bayshore right next to Wine Dance, and then Brent was right next to Bayshore. Um, be sure. So it's like all of them, and they all have beef and stuff like that. So I understand why he like, said that. Sharing the six man, we, we, the six streets in Bayshore are probably the worst. Oh no, the six streets in CI. I'm bugging. Year war kind of shit. Well, the seventh man of the year war kind of shit. Y'all gonna be sharing because both of y'all raggedy as fuck, but y'all so close. Here's the difference though, right? Brentwood got a lot of crime that happened in Brentwood. Yeah. Bayshore, they like right there near each other. Like, literally right there near each other. But Brentwood got, like, the white people. Bayshore got the black people. But they mad close together, though. I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about, like peanut butter to jelly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how close Brentwood and Bayshore is. So it baffled me to see that Brentwood had, had that much crime. That's why another reason why I don't really think he, like, he, he might live in Long Island, but he's not really, like, from Long Island because... There are a lot of white people in Bayshore, but there's a lot of Spanish people, like I said, like, and like the MS has been wilding out there lately. So like, I know there's a there's a good white part of Brentwood, like I understand that, like, but predominantly Brentwood is like, I think it's predominantly Spanish. Like you driving you driving Brentwood, there's nothing but Spanish bodegas all over the place. Like, just like when you drive in Copec, Copec is like, there's a lot of white people in Copec, like the Venice and shit like that, but. Like you drive down Great Neck, nigga, everything is Spanish. I mean, there's a couple Polish spots here and there, but everything is Spanish. You feel me? Yeah, cause you know it's close. Brentwood got a lot of crackheads still. Brentwood got scammers. Brentwood got the motherfucker that'll come say hello to you, ask you for, ask you for a cigarette, see you drop your wallet out there. Nah, he ain't saying nothing. He gonna step on that. Oh, hello. See you soon, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta kind of like. You know, you got to have your shit in your book bag. Make sure your shit is on your back. You know, it's a lot of thieves. But when you go to Bayshore, Bayshore, you in there, you know. It's, I'm saying, some of the gangsters. You know are, what? Bayshore, I like Bayshore. But you want to know why Bayshore really the worst place? Like, one of the worst places in Long Island? Because they got that fucking trash-ass fucking mall, bro. Bayshore Mall is fucking trash. I fucking hate that mall. There is nothing in that mall. Sunrise Mall, don't get me wrong. That mall is trash, but Bayshore Mall is fucking garbage. I think I stepped in Bayshore. I think the only time I've ever been to Bayshore Mall, I've been to Bayshore Mall twice. One of them was with you, Kevin. I think it was me, you, Tyler, Cam, and Doug. Maybe Jared. I, I only been to Bayshore Mall twice. That shit is trash. In Bayshore. Bayshore got the black people in Bayshore. When you get off at that train station nine times out of ten, you gonna see some prior some little black dude. You know he on drugs, but you know it's not crack because he got a little size to him. That's that dust. That's <laughs> that dust. He been smoking rock. that dust. A lot of dust heads flowing around once you go to Bayshore. In Brentwood, you got the crackheads, you got the heroin addicts, you got the people who are just. This nigga talking about he not gonna see motherfuckers. All right. Number Go six, ahead. we taking it to Nassau one time. Freeport. Freeport. Woo. Freeport is bad. Freeport is bad. 
But Freeport good too. There's a lot of good parts of Freeport. There's also a lot of bad. Freeport's, Freeport's majority Spanish man. too. A lot of black people. I'm not Freeport even gonna too. lie. There's a lot of money flowing around Freeport. This is the thing about Freeport though. This is another thing. Freeport and Roosevelt is like, and then it's Baldwin. So it's just like, I can't just say just Freeport. It's just, it's just like that circle. Because it's the Spanish, it's mostly the Spanish people in Freeport. And it's the, the black people. It's the Spanish, and, it's the Spanish and white in Freeport with a couple black. And there's mostly black, it's mostly black and Spanish and, um, and Roosevelt, and then Baldwin is white and black, so it's just like Freeport right now. Freeport and it's, it's, it's is just, weird. It's just it's just Freeport bad because has, like Freeport's like in the middle. Like Freeport of Freeport used to be a white area. Certain parts of Freeport used to be a white area. In fact, but then you got it split. You got a white part. And you got a black part. The white part though is like the it's kind of weird. It's like they got money, but they still do drugs. It's like you can find a nigga who still like Master Pequa. Niggas got money, but crack, niggas do mad but he drugs. The BMW. But yeah, he ain't going nowhere on the weekend. He don't got work. He'll rent that for you because his money is a little low this this week. So he'll rent that to you for two days. Tell you to make sure you bring it back Sunday night before he got to go to work. Wait, hold on. Nah, hold man. on, Kev. No way, Kev. Wait, wait. I got to fast forward this shit. No way, Kev. Kev we know about this Freeport, one. It's a lot of shit. You know about this Crack one, Cam. Hold on, hold on. I got to this up. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We know about this one. Right now. <laughs> nigga, we for A. Number five. For AV, nigga. Keeping it real in Amityville. We for AV, nigga. Thinking he won't, goddammit. Amityville, bro. <laughs> we from AV. <laughs> now, I'm about to listen to this whole shit. I need what you said about the towns. Well. For y'all that don't know, I'm from Amityville. Amityville. Sometimes people don't know whether that's Nassau or Suffolk. That's just Suffolk. I was confused First time a lot Suffolk. of times myself. It's kind of like the border. Even though Amityville is in Suffolk County. It's not Nassau County. It's Suffolk County. But it should be Nassau County. Yeah, I don't know why. Be. Amityville should be Nassau County. So now, Amityville has like, it's weird. Amityville also has like a part that goes down to Sunrise Highway and all that. But when you go inside of the neighborhood in Amityville, it used to be a lot worse. Um, in fact. Late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, but I'm not even going to lie. Amityville got a lot of... Amityville got a lot of gangs inside of it. Amityville got a lot of blood. And Amityville got a lot of crips inside of it. So, Amityville's weird. I, this is the first... Uh, this is kind of like the first place where I kind of ran into like a couple of like white crips. And like white bloods, but it's not like that mainly out there. It's a lot of black people that live in Amityville too. Um, but that's where it's a lot of crime that happened out there too. It's like you see a lot of white on white crime, white on black crime. It's not just black on black crime happening in Amityville. Um, I mean MOP. This is the thing. This is the thing about Amityville though. I, mean, I could talk about this guy. I lived there my whole life. This is the thing about Amityville. Amityville is like, it's so cutthroat. It's like a line in Amityville, right? It's like, there's this bridge. When we talk about Sunrise Highway, there's like a bridge, right? And if you go over, say you're going, I think it's north over the bridge. It's like you're going towards like, um, like the middle. Because Amityville is like right, right on the water, right? And like near the water is, is Amityville. You go over the bridge north, it's north Amityville. And North Amityville is the bad part of Amityville. Like North Amityville is the bad part. The other side, you, there's this place called the Amityville Village. You come through the village, it's like it's all white. It's million dollar homes near the water, all that shit. Da 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 da. All that. So like the bad part of Amityville is North Amityville. Regular Amityville is is good for the most part. There's a lot of racist white people in Amityville. Like, and Amityville School District is probably like one of the worst school districts on Long Island. Like Amityville. High school, probably, I would say, if they had a thousand students, like six hundred of them would be black, two hundred of them would be Spanish, and then two hundred would be white. Like that's, like that's just the way it is. And it's a small school too. There's probably no more than like two thousand kids in that whole. Hold on one minute. Yo, give me a second. I'm making a video. You know hear I me? Mean? Bitch is weird, bro. Why she bitch don't call it? 
right, what, what was I, I don't even know why I was saying she interrupted me. You know, they didn't talk about it. You see what I'm saying? So it's like ever since then, you know, the little white kids out there, they think they, you know, they think they tough. But the ones in Amityville, oh, I'm not even going to lie. Them is like the closest the black kids you're going to get is the white kids in Amityville. <laughs> nah, that's fucking, that's, some of the hoodest white people I know are from Amityville, bro. That's crazy. And it, it, it's just because what I said about the school is because most people, because I went to private school. A lot of kids from Anvil go to private school. Like all my friends from Anvil, like even come a couple of my friends in the chat right now, they they're from Amityville. They went to public school. They went to I went to Kellenberg. Some of them went to St. Anthony's. A lot of them went to St. John's. And it's because for the ones that get sent to Amityville, they get sent into the kids from North Amityville, right? And they they just adapt to that the hood culture. So that's why a lot of white kids that graduate from Amityville, like I'm not saying all of them, I'm just saying a good percentage of them turn out to be hood niggas because they. They befriend kids from North Amityville, the hood ones. Not saying everyone from North Amityville from the hood, but our family from North Amityville. So they go to North Amityville. They they hang out with the kids from North Amityville, and they, that's just the culture that they acquire, right? They're not hanging out with the white kids that want to go to Mont. Like I said before, the white kids that want to go to Mont talking shit. They hanging out with the kids that want that smoke weed, go to the party, dagger some shit, pick up the girls, like you know. They're around that, so that's what they turn into. It's in Amville so small and everyone knows each other. It's just like it's easy. It's easy for that to happen. That's why a lot of white kids in Amville are like that. So like it's, it all comes down to the school. And Amityville's really not that bad, honestly. You can like I feel like anyone unless you go to Amityville to cause problems, you can walk through Amityville and shit's gonna be Gucci. I don't th- like I don't think I can walk through certain like quorum and stuff and be Gucci. I don't think I can walk right through Brentwood and be Gucci. I don't think I can walk through fucking through fucking um CI and be Gucci. I I know like uh, people can come to Anvil, just walk throughout Anvil and be Gucci. Like it's not really a lot going on. But if you start trouble, like trouble's gonna find you. But yeah, people get killed, people get shot. Someone just got killed the other day. Someone just got shot in Delhi the other day. But it's just like if you mind your business, you chilling. People people be chilling in Anvil. It's just like it's it's tight and everyone knows each other. So and they run with the black and, and, and the only way you're really gonna find trouble in Anvil is if you go to North Anvil to like the sticks, stick streets, the forties, the flats, Jefferson, like shit like that. Like you walk near Sea Town, <laughs> nigga said mind your business. You walk near Sea Town on one ten, like you walk over there, like there's a lot of custies and crackheads over there, a lot of, like a lot of bad niggas. You go to go, Boulder Mac used to be really bad. Boulder Mac, ever since they, they, they made uh, the pro am and Boulder Mac is Gucci over there. They take the rims down. People don't even hoop over there over there. But um, <laughs> now nah, Sea Town, Kev, you, you know Sea Town, they be wild in front of Sea Town. Bro, I drove, when I was back home, I drove to fucking Sea Town because I didn't need to get barrels for my for my people back in Grenada. And they was wilding over there. Like, niggas was about to fight. Niggas was blocking. Because, you know, it's a one way. Like, when you turn in off of um Jefferson. There's a one way this way, and then there's the one way that way. Like niggas was blocking off the shit. Like it was wilding, and the security guard was just sitting there like this. I'm like, yo, bro, like tell him to move the car. <laughs> they can say if you stay at the liquor store over what it's, bro. Why do you go to the liquor store next to Sea Town? Just go to the the liquor store on Sunrise, um, near um Fruit Tree, like nigga, the one the one in Fruit Tree is around the corner from you. Like it's just it's not the same distance, but it's the same fucking thing. You have a car. It makes no sense. Because that's his first liquor store. That's crazy. Like you're not seeing them hanging out with the skaters. See what I'm saying? It's not they not like the Ron Conkham. But don't but don't get me don't get me wrong. Like when you talk about the white they are white white boys in fucking in Amityville. Gang members. Oh, you see what I'm saying? I'm not goalie I bang is y'all members of some kind of other gang. They not even like them motherfuckers. I mean, they really like, you know, they put in work in Amityville. And Amityville got a lot of crime that's been happening in Amityville. You see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. Amityville is a lot of... It's, Amityville is one of those places to where you know it's shootings out there, but you only hear about it too much when it happens on the news, and they don't get that much coverage on the news. Like, it's certain places they get a... That's another, that's another thing. A lot of people think Amityville is, is soft because, like, a lot of stuff that... It, a lot of stuff in Anvil doesn't go um a lot of stuff in Anvil doesn't get put on the news. Like it doesn't get put on channel twelve. 
They don't put it on Channel 12. They'll put it in Newsday. They'll put it in the paper. But, like, like a lot of stuff, like, a lot of shootings happened in Amityville that no one knows. A lot of people died in Amityville that nobody knows about. And that's why everyone says, like, Amityville. Amityville's not like that. I'm like, all right. Like, test, someone from, test the wrong person from Amityville, bro. It's crazy. But then again, like, I, I still think if you mind your business, nothing's going to really happen to you. But a lot of bad stuff does happen in Amityville. The bees be out in Amityville. You can't go down Great Neck without seeing an undercover. You can't go down 110 without seeing an undercover. Especially over near, especially on 110 near, um, near, uh, Brooklyn Fish in, um, the little 24 hour bodega. They, there's hot over there, especially Smith Street. A lot of boys over there where Sarnara used to be. A lot of boys over there, 40s. A lot of boys over there, flats. A lot of boys over there. So, a lot of news coverage. And now there's a lot in the sticks, too. There's a lot on the other side of the sticks, on the other side of New Highway. When it comes down to, uh, we going to get to those places, but that, but it's other places that you don't even really hear about stuff like that. See what I'm saying? But Amityville, you got to be careful when you're out there in Amityville. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, it's right there on that borderline. You don't want no parts of Nassau County cops or Suffolk County cops. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm good on Amityville. Number four, Central Islip. See how it's bad. Place I used to live there before. See how it's bad. See how it's bad, bro. See how it's bad. I don't like see how it's bad. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Girls with anything, bro. Standard in Central Islip. Oh my God, Central Islip is so. Some of the some of the most solid people I haven't met are from CI, but CI like, nah, it's not. I don't. I don't. If niggas if niggas hit me one day like yo, Big B like. You got the CI. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna sit this one out. Y'all can go. Be safe. Rag Keep the blade on you. Like, raggedy in Central Islip. When you get off the train station, if you go to the right, it's raggedy. You go to the left, it's raggedy. Alright, um. I'm, I'm talking to chat right now. But I think it's gonna be top three besides Wine Nation. I don't think. I don't think gonna. He might put Wine Nation three, but Hempstead's gonna be number one. I already know for a fact. Hempstead's gonna be number one because Hempstead probably is the worst. It maybe Roosevelt might be too. It might be. It might he might mix Wine Dance and Babylon, for th uh for three, and then it might be Roosevelt too, and then it might be Hempstead. Because like I said, like I said before, like, and the thing with Hem he might put Union Dale up there too, but the thing with um. With Roosevelt and shit like that, and like Hempstead, it's a lot of it's like right next to Queens. So there's a lot of Queens niggas, a lot of a lot of. Rockaway niggas be going to in and out of Hempstead, in and out of so like they like to jack me from Queens, but they really not from Queens. Feel me? So like a lot should be happening over there. Some apartment complexes out there. Stay that away. Might as well be like little mini projects. Then Stay the houses all got roaches and they all ran down. The roads is raggedy. A lot of the people is raggedy. Since shout out to Central Islip, it is just raggedy in Central Islip. That's not true. If raggedy had a Matt, please. The thing about the thing about CI though, it's a bad place because like a lot of the bad places in the CI you would never expect. Like you'll drive through, a, like yeah, every place has a place that look raggedy, but all the CI does not look raggedy. Like this place is a CI, like people be like yo, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. It's bad, bad, bad. You drive down, like the house is just perfectly fine. Like, nigga, this look like a good ass block. It look like fucking um white people live here, but it'd be like one of the worst blocks in CI. Next to it, they will have to put Central Islip next to it. They will have to. Central, it's terrible out there. It's terrible out there. Carlton Drive. It's terrible all through the Central Islip. That's not true. Look at the disgust on my face. This thing is crazy. You got like, oh my God, you got some of the, you got some of the realest people in Central Islip, but then you got some of the fakest people ever. Yeah, see, that's what I just said. There's some real niggas in CI, but there's some, well, there's some shysters in. The gangbangers out there, the, I ain't gonna lie. Predom and I'm not talking about it because they got a lot of crips out there. You know, my shit is getting... Anyway, I'm about to get my shit redone. You know, it's... Please, do looking that. crazy out here in the streets. But anyway, they got some of the fakest bloods I've seen in my life. In my life. I'm talking about, like, you see them on the street... 
They bloody. You see them in jail? Why y'all not even mixing with the regular? Maybe got an old English. Y'all just fucking. The thing, I mean, I'm skipping this because he's just saying the same thing about raggedy, raggedy, raggedy. He's not really telling people why. That's why I don't think how he's fucking. Bro, he's just saying, like, he's just saying raggedy, raggedy, raggedy. Like, I feel like he's been there before and he knows about it, but he's not explaining really why. Like, CI, like, like I, like I said before, is like Bayshore, Brentwood, and like CI is like over here somewhere. You feel me? So it's just like it's a it's a bunch of different cultures and different gangs, and that's what makes it so bad. And they're so close together. Like the thing is, Long Island's not like the city where it's like it's like I don't know. It's weird. To, how am I going to explain this? Like Long Island's not like the city. Like it's close, but it's also it's also close. You feel me? Like you can you can be driving down a road and fucking um and because. A lot of other places in the United States, they have like, like signs and stuff like, oh, five miles, you will be in, uh, uh, five miles, you will be in Orlando. Like, okay, I'm about to be in Orlando. Nigga, you can drive down a road in Long Island and as soon as you pass a stoplight, you in CI, you wouldn't even notice it. You wouldn't even know, it. they're so close. So that's what makes them so bad because it's like a bunch of different cultures and different personalities and different gangs and they're all like in this one little circle you feel me so it's just like just like people from brooklyn or queens oh i'm gonna spin the block this nigga lives on 123rd i live on 115th or some shit like that you know like this nigga lived on 73rd i live on fucking 60 let me drive fucking 10 blocks i'm gonna see him it's kind of the same thing in long island you can just drive down a street you can just drive down 110 go down two exits on southern state you right there you feel me so that's why it's so bad. And like the thing with CI and Brentwood and Bayshore is like it's, it's a lot of like a lot of MS, a lot of bloods, a lot of crips. So it's a lot of different gangs and shit. You feel me? It, it, the whole Central Iceland just and the like young this. niggas is wilding now. Like ATM, 1080, shit like Number that. Number three, Bellport, New York, stand up. Bell Bellport is bad. I'm not gonna lie. You, Kevin, you probably don't even know what Bellport is. Bellport's out east. Bellport is bad. A lot of white, a lot of white people out there, a lot of white Bellport. custies, a lot of black people. He's crazy. Patch all. We gonna co put y'all, y'all to combine, y'all stick together like ham and cheese. Y'all not the peanut butter and jelly. That's Bay Show and Brentwood. Y'all the ham and cheese. Nigga said y'all the ham and cheese. This nigga's crazy. Bellport, nigga hungry. New York, East Patch all. Oh my God. Bellport don't got no little mini projects. Bellport don't got like. Like, no little apartments. Bellport just has a bunch of houses. <laughs> Most of them is raggedy. And we talking about take away the new blocks. Here take go, away the new here blocks. Here you go with this raggedy shit, bro. We got the black side of Bellport. Cross the tracks. Mm -hmm. You got the white side of Bellport. So it's like, like, chain. Ooh, that bitch right. Shut the fuck up. We're talking about everything in right? If you know I wasn't paying you no attention back when we was in high school, don't be in my DMs and a lot all of, that. A lot of, a lot of custies and shit, a lot of prostitutes. If you know for a fact, I know you have been ran through. <laughs> Here we go, number two. I knew this was coming. I was number waiting for this. Number two. Wine dance. Wine dance. Wine dance. Crime dance. Crime dance. <laughs> what? Nah, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I know a lot of people, a lot of people close to me from Wine Dance. I grew up with a lot of people from Wine Dance. I feel like I'm I'm not going to say I'm good at Wine Dance, but a lot of people know me in Wine Dance. Like, I'm, it's cool. Like, I, I'm cool over there. You feel me? But there is no good part of Wine Dance. There is not a good part of Wine Dance. I, I, I love my niggas that live in Wine Dance. See that straight path right there? They, 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 you go down straight path, you know where you at. <laughs> You drive down straight path and you you pass the little bodega on the left at the fork. You got all the houses that show on the right. You just got all Southern State or you just came down Dixon. You cross Sunrise and you're like, okay, now I'm on straighty. You feel me? You see the shell right there. Don't, I'm telling you right now, if you in Wine Dance and you're not from Wine Dance or you're not, niggas don't know you in Wine Dance, do not get gas at the shell right there, okay? 
drive down you see the fucking the 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 the, the, the wine dance school administration building you see another gas station yo do not go to that gas station you pass state you pass all that do not go on state do not do not do that okay right only place you fucking go and you go into wine dance unless you got business over there unless you're playing team underrated shout out to you unless you're playing basketball or football or something like that or you live there the only place you're going to wine dance is for brooklyn fish right even then they be out there <laughs> be careful in wine dance wine dance is bad i love all my niggas from wine dance so i fuck with wine dance but yo just oh like Bro, over the over the summer, mid COVID, bro, there's a crackhead dancing naked, humping cars in the middle of the straight path. Like, but they are. I kid you not. There's a crackhead, butt ass naked, humping cars in the middle. Kevin Little posted it on his shit. Like, he's like, yo, they're wild and wild. Bro, the nigga is humping like, like, and I'm telling you right now. You're gonna drive down Wine Dance, right? And you're gonna see a nice little, I think it's a Walmart. It's a Walmart neighborhood. It's a little, it's a little grocery store right there, right? You're gonna start seeing brick roads. It's like, oh, it's starting to look nice. The train station's right there. The train station looking pretty good. Don't, don't do it. If they don't know you out there, do not get out your car and go shop. Just keep going. You keep going down straight path, DPA is right there. You can make it right. You can do all the shopping you want on DPA. You can do your grocery, you can get, you can get Sonic. You can get Wendy's, you can get a haircut, you can go to Casa de Campo if you want some Spanish, you get okay, you want and whatever you want. Do not stop a straight path unless you know where you're at. If you do not know where you're at, do not stop on straight path. Do not turn on a block that you don't know. Do not oh wait one minute. Let me roll up this L like, let me roll up this L real quick and turn skirt down a block real quick because only two, two things are gonna happen, right? You're gonna pull up to the block and the D's is gonna get you, or you're gonna pull up in the block and niggas gonna be outside and they're gonna be like, yo, who's that in that whip? And they're gonna press you. You might get boomed. Or you might get robbed. Like, don't do it. Right? You coming down the hoop. You feel me? The the, 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 the go don't go behind the high school. I right? don't 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 if you're walking, don't go behind the high school. Don't don't weave in and out. Don't do none of that. Just get where you're going. Right, go there. No pit stops. No shit, nigga. I'm partially gonna get a Gatorade from the gas. No, Brooklyn fish. Okay, go get your food. That's it. Maybe I got practice. Go straight to the gym. Don't park around the corner and walk. Just go. Just get there. Don't don't stop. I'm telling y'all right now, don't stop. My man's in them family. I had no uh. You know, wine dance is like the middle of Long Island. I had no uh, no idea what, about wine dance, what was going on in wine dance. But my man is in them fans. Like I said, if you have no idea what's going on over there, do not go over. And if you got to drive through it, just drive through. Don't stop. Straight up. Don't stop. Just once you get to, once you pass Wheatley, you get to, we, once you pass Wheatley Heights, you get to Deer Park. Your Gucci, get out your car. You can dance. You can, just don't. If you don't know where you're at, if you know where you're at, you're Gucci. I'm not saying you're gonna walk out no matter who you are. You're just gonna get fucking robbed. The class. I'm saying if you don't know how to move and you don't know where you're at, do not stop. If you know how to conduct yourself. You know what you're doing. You know where you're at. You're Gucci, and that's for most parts of Long Island. If you don't know what you're doing, just keep going. Straight, like I like it says on the fucking like like the street says straight path just a straight path just keep going. It's from wine dance. So once I started chilling with them and I started going to their family cribs for like you know barbecues and family reunions and all that. What we talking about? Take the raggedy place in Jersey. Let's just say Newark, New Jersey. He's wild. He's raggedy. In he's he's wilding now. He's wilding. He's bugging. Wine Dance is bad. I lived in Newark for two years. I lived on Norfolk Street in Newark. I lived in the heart, like, like, grapes and shit was over there. Like, no, don't compare it. I can walk, like, I will walk down straight path and I'll like look over my shoulder, make sure I'm Gucci. I used to walk home from practice, like, I used to walk home from practice and be fucking scared, bro. And I used to fucking walk, walk to Newark train station in the dark, like, be, and be scared, like, 
Cause like I will go to school the next day, be like, yo, bro, I was walking downtown, nigga just hopped out the Tahoe and just robbed me, bro. Shotgun to my face, da da da. Give me your shit, da 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 da. Like, it's crazy. Don't compare nowhere in New York to Newark. Newark is different. Newark is different. And I'm not scary, nigga, cause I don't care. Like I really don't be caring. Like I'll just be Gucci where I'm at. Like I'm on my business. Shit happened, shit happened. But in Newark, I was dead as like. I used to get on the fucking tram on Norfolk on Norfolk Street to take it to um to Newark Penn. Bro, I used to take the fucking the little tram, the little fucking um the electric tram. It used to it runs from New York Penn and it goes all the way to uh Montclair. Okay. I used to get around Norfolk Street. I used to come out my little trap house that we lived in. Boom, make a left, walk two blocks, walk down them stairs. I used to take them shits all the way down. I'd never been like scared of my life. I just every day I used to do that shit. Just be on, on my P's and Q's. Just like have my hand in my pocket around the blade. Like shit. Like niggas just looking at me. Like I think the thing that saved me is I walked around with a lot of basketball gear. Cause niggas be like, oh, you play for the county? Like yeah, I play for the county. Like, oh, bro, oh, put up and watch the game. Nigga, fuck with me. I'm gonna find up on the gram. You, you tall as hell. Like niggas don't say as hell in in, in, in Jersey. They say it's hell. Like you told this hell, like I S H E L L, like they'll dead ass, like a nigga, someone will text me, say you Aggie is hell. I'm like, as hell, nigga? But I digress, but don't compare Newark to, don't compare Newark to nowhere on Long Island. I, w- I was walking home from basketball practice and I seen niggas get shot multiple times. Like, Newark. Niggas used to serve fiends out that's of why, fucking That's how you would compare house, a wine bro. dance. Like, don't do that. Now, we talking about as far as the houses, Housing the roads. Roads not that bad. It looks like. Think of the worst place you ever been to down south. And you look at that street, you like, no fucking way. They look redid the roads on straight path though, so they Gucci. Nobody now. ain't never been over here. They, they did a lot of they, they, they hook and wind this up. It's mad green. The thing about wind this is they starting to um they start like after you cross the train tracks, there's a big ass, there's a big nice ass fucking condominium or, or apartment uh building. They got dominoes and they got like a little food sections and stuff like that. It's after the tracks though, because after the tracks you get into Wheatley Heights and Deer Park and shit. But before the tracks, it's that's that's a dance. So this is, they're trying to clean wine dance up. Clean shit on side of their houses like nobody power washed that shit never. <laughs> the house used to be white, but now it's white and green. Fuck. It's just mad dirt. You see baby diapers outside. It, uh, uh, inside of the yard, outside, dirty diapers. You see dolls out there with the head off. One, they got one arm, like they trying to do the bruck up. <laughs> you see the little, the little toy car out there. That shit don't got no antenna, but you do antenna. got the remote out there. But the remote ain't got no batteries antenna. in it. That's how the yard is looking. Oh, don't forget, you got the uh, it's yeah. It's winter time. I mean, it's summertime, but you got the winter stroller out there. Because you ain't been using the winter stroller. You've been using the summer stroller. So the winter stroller been sitting outside the whole time. So it's mad stuff inside of the winter stroller. The winter stroller is brown. It's filthy. But you want to dust that winter stroller off in the winter time. If you want to dust it off and reuse that in the winter. But right now, it's outside of y'all. That's how wine dance, the whole wine dance look. You ride down the block, you're like, oh, shit, they must be cousins. It's the same dirty diaper. And I, I, I'm I'm treading lightly because, like, I know a lot of people from Wine Dance. I'm friends with a lot of people from Wine Dance, but I'm pretty sure they know, like, most parts of places, like, especially places that are, like, relatively bad or ghetto. Ghetto. Um, most people, like, even Amityville, for, for instance, like, North Anvil is a bad place to Anvil, but there's places in North Anvil that there's streets and, like, a couple blocks in North Anvil. It's like, okay, this looks really nice. This before before the train tracks, uh, I don't think that you can drive. You there's a there's a block on Wine Dance. You drive down, but like, yo, that's a that's a that's a nice crib. Like, I mean, there's a couple big cribs that look nice, but it's still like you still get that 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 feeling like oh shit, like I'm I'm here right now. You feel me? Like, this place is the Amityville that you can like, all right, I can chill. I'm not here, but like every block on Wine Dance is like yo, I'm here right now. You feel me? You that's not even. Type is that they couldn't get the huggies, they had to get the pampers. Yo, I'm really wine dance nigga, is bro. raggedy as fuck. This nigga said, um, he you got gangbangers in wine dance, it's, right. it's a lot of crips in wine dance. 
You got Bloods and Wine Dance, though. Bloods been out there for a while. To let. It's been a lot of Bloods in Long Island. But Wine Dance is one of the places where you find Crips at in Wine Dance. See what I'm saying? My cousin was a big blood in Wine Dance. got killed. Oh, it's mm-hmm. raggedy. You still got base heads out. That's the first place where I actually heard somebody call somebody a base head. <laughs> that really wasn't a crackhead. Fucking base head. Straight path. You got to be careful strolling down straight path. That's a fact. If you going down a straight path, don't go on a straight path. Cross the streets a little bit. Because I'm not even going to lie. Straight path is probably like one of the most dangerous roads I've probably been on. Like, I don't know if, like, don't listen to him. You feel me? First of all, first of all, if you're walking down straight path, you're already fucking crazy. Because that, sh- that road is mad long, right? Right? That road is mad. That road goes from 110 all the way to DPA. That road starts at 110 as Dixon and turns into straight path as you cross the train tracks in, where is it, Lindenhurst or Babylon? And that shit goes all the way to Deer Park. Right, so no one's walking that fucking walk. That walk, uh, uh-uh. uh, that walk is going. That walk, that walk from fucking Amityville all the way to Deer Park. You're crossing like eight towns, bro. So you're not making that walk. Long Island, we don't walk that much. It, you're most likely driving, and if you're driving a wine dance, just just driving on straight path. Like I said, straight path. Don't stop. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't know where I you're ain't at. Gonna lie. Keep I done going. walked uh, El Cajon Boulevard in San Diego. Um, I don't walk the uh, uh, Eastern Parkway, oh, Brooklyn. Bad. I don't walk Jamaica Avenue. Oh, I don't bad. walk Garth Brewer in Queens. See what I'm saying? Listen, sh- I'd have been in L.A. walking down a lot of streets out here, man. I'd have been on Ventura. I'd have been walking down Queen Street. I'd have been in a lot of people hoods. But straight path is just something about that road. Shout out to everybody. Crime dance, the never move to dance. I don't give a fuck if they got houses out there for two hundred dollars a month. You just want a new six bedroom house in Wine Dance, New York, two hundred dollars a month. Man, y'all keep that. Y'all couldn't pay me nah, two thousand dollars a month to live in Wine Dance. If they told me we'd give you a house, you gotta live in Wine Dance for one year. We'd give you a house and pay you your all expenses paid. We pay you two thousand dollars a month. He's wilding on, on top of right that. Now. You still keep your job and all that, just to live in wine dance for a year. Nah, I'm good. What kind of experiment is this? Experiment with my life? <laughs> now, I gotta walk down the street strapped up all the time. But nah, this nigga crazy. You can't walk around like that all the time. Nah, I'm good. Nah, this nigga crazy. Shout out to Crime Dance. It's only one other place than that that's Hempstead. worse than Crime Dance. Hempstead. What is going on in Hempstead, New York? Oh my. Oh, Hempstead. Hempstead, New- Hempstead's bad, bro. I don't even know a lot about Hempstead, but Hempstead's bad, bro. It's just like I said before, like Hempstead is right, right near the city, Yo, bro. A lot of what crazy is niggas. Be, it's Hempstead a lot, it's got a, lot of, a little bit mixture, everything. It's a lot of, it's a lot. Yeah, Hempstead got a lot of Spanish, a lot of Spanish people from Uniondale and shit. It's right next to Hempstead. All the white people migrated to West Hempstead because West Hempstead is nice. Hempstead itself is bad. Hempstead is dead ass like mini Queens. Cause if you go to Hempstead and you drive down um what the fuck is that fucking block called, bro? Oh shit, bro. What 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 is it? What's what's the block, the long ass fucking highway that my, my high school used to be on, bro? Right next to Eisenhower. Fuck. Hempstead Turnpike. Bro, you drive down Hempstead Turnpike, right? You pass, you're driving through Wontaw, you drive through Uniondale, you drive through East Meadow, bro. You you pass you pass Hofstra, you pass Nassau Coliseum. As soon as you pass Hofstra, right? And you go under that last uh, you go under the last overpass, you feel me? Bro, you think you're in Queens or you think you're in the city, because there's nothing but project building. It's nothing but projects. Projects, 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 projects. Then like it turns into houses and projects. Is that everywhere, bro? Front Street, all that shit. Front Street's like basically Union Delo, but it goes into Hempstead, bro. Shit. Hempstead got a little bit of houses. Hempstead got the little mini projects. Hempstead got apartment buildings. Mm-hmm. He- like, you can get basement apartments out there. Mm-hmm. You got the recruiting office right there and all that. 
it's mad close to the city. Exactly. You're not that far from Queens. Nope. But you're still in Long Island. What the hell happened in Hempstead? Boy, Hempstead got mad blood. Hempstead got Crips now, though, too. It's a lot of wars in Hempstead right now. Hempstead is mad close to Freeport. Mm-hmm. People from Freeport get into it with people from Hempstead. People from Roosevelt, too. People from Baldwin. That's another problem. It's people still a lot of drug addicts from Westbury. in Hempstead and in Freeport. Notice, Freeport was number uh, six on there. Hempstead is number one. It's a lot of money in between those two spots. It's a lot of clashes, a lot of confrontation. Hempstead cops be out there putting in work. That's why I don't get how much violence happened. I'm nervous when I used to go out there to cop bud. We talking about just bud. Because the, the D's is riding. They riding crazy out there. They everywhere. Oh, Hempstead is kind of like a big... Hempstead is kind of a big town. I'm saying... It's like when they really don't be, they'll be on that Fulton Street side because them little projects that's right there on Fulton Street. It gets I crazy over Fulton. there. But then when you, even when you come down to the neighborhood part where the houses and all that or where the apartments and stuff is at, it gets crazy in Hempstead. Hempstead got the most drive-bys of any place in Long Island. New Yorkers don't really do drive-bys. We do walk-ups. We don't do drive-bys, but Hempstead, they doing drive-bys like a motherfucker. And Hempstead brung Freeport crime rate up like that because it's so much money. They so close. They not peanut butter and jelly, ham and cheese, but they super close. Hempstead, do not. Do the number one place right now in crime rate. The number one place right now in drug activity. The number one place right now in Long Island on police assaults. It's go. I don't know what's happening in Hempstead. It's going down in Hempstead. Do not move to Hempstead. I'm telling the people who live in Hempstead, man, they in Hempstead right now. <laughs> and I know what y'all thinking. Hempstead, why is that name like that? See what I'm saying? I don't know. They, but I'll tell you one thing, though. You move there, your ass going to find out why. I'm just a Brooklyn Crip from a Harlem set. Show some respect. If not, cuz, put it in check. I'm up next. Teach your boy, Harlem Smiley, man. And you are tuned in to the one, the only. Yeah, he's from Brooklyn. Yeah, this is just from, this shit was a couple months ago. Look at these comments. I'm from Flatbush, Flatbush Brooklyn. I live in Bay Shore. Elemental. I lived here since I was 15. I'm 20 now. You said his was ass back. Damn, I know my, my man's tight. Elmont ain't make it. He talk like it's Iraq out there. Brown was full of Spanish people. When's the last time you've been there? There you go. Told you he's bugging. He hasn't been to Brown in a minute. Nigga say, yes, sir. Hempstead said that this nigga's white. <laughs> no way. Was just at a pool party. Him say, "Yeah, he's been lost his fucking mind. Never in my life." Spin that flocka, flocka, flocka. Pull up with AK. That's my shotter. Got breaches, treaches, eaters. You know I 